So we have um, American Standard gas water boiler and we have this unique gas valve that has this is the gas valve right here it's, it's hard to read the number I can't even read this number but the operation is followed once there is call for heat there is the little heater there, there is a 24 volt coil at that bottom right there at the bottom and that coil has plunger and that's opening right now that aluminum piece is actually going up and it's it's you can see it's opening and it, it's delayed valve what that means is basically after a few seconds maybe after 10 20 seconds when the heater gets hotter the plunger will actually pull out that pivot all the way up and at that point it will be supplying full uh, gas see it's going up it's probably about a uh, quarter inch maybe even more half inch by now and once it fully opens that means the boiler will get the maximum gas supply That's the plunger we're talking about right here. See that there's a gap that's opening high. And I believe this is all the way open right now. So that's the American stun, uh, Standard boiler. Now you don't see these gas valves very often. It has, uh, it's actually temperature controlled gas valve right here. There is no separate aquastat. It also has aquastat. So this is basically built-in aquastat with the valve. Very unique, uh, good piece of equipment. Uh, it's a combined aquastat and uh, gas valve. So this is uh, this is on. This actually gets very hot. The plate gets very hot because it's a heater. It's it's uh, there's a little heater circuit built-in. Uh, it has a little transformer, 24 volts. Well, the circulator pump actually has a separate control, which is right here. Uh, the circulator pump control is here. It, it's a regular Wide Rogers Aquastat for the circulator pump. So now we turned off the thermostat, so there is no more call for heat, and we're watching this plunger closely uh, what happens here is this will close all the way so the gas valve will shut off so the burners will cut off uh, you know shut down at that point watching this plunger again so remember the, the thermostat is not calling for heat anymore so this heater is not heating up that see it, it's getting closer shutting off and now in about a few seconds it takes about 20 to 30 seconds to fully open and fully close it's closing sometimes a little dust and dirt gets in there uh, and now now it's fully closed this little gap see and I, I blew some air through this to be cleaned out and the heater to be cleaned out and now this is all the way closed and one last thing this is the pilot control when when when, when the ga gas regulator sends low pressure gas reduces the pressure of the gas incoming gas down to three and a half inch and then water column and then we have this pilot control very unique also uh, how the pilot control works in order to light, light the pilot you have to actually press this all the way down and then light the pilot and then release this and the pilot stays on at that point 
what happens there is no connection between gas valve and the pilot control because these pilot controls simply allows the gas to flow further because once the re regulator reduced and then comes to pilot control if the pilot control does not allow gas to pass through you will not go to the gas valve so this is very unconventional old style pilot control you probably won't see but if you come across that's how this works you push this all the way down light the pilot and then that solenoid stays open if the pilot is on once that solenoid stays open the gas flows further comes to the gas valve now it comes to the gas valve when there is a call for heat it actually warms up the heater this plate actually gets very hot and then as we described earlier the plunger goes up so the gas valve opens allows the gas to flow even further down to the burners and then uh, that's how the boiler comes on at the same time as I mentioned it's a combination aquastat and gas valve it's one control very unique piece of equipment I can't even read this number here it says uh, yeah I can't even read but yeah it's so one last time there is call for heat right now and we know that pilot is on it's in there uh, we know that gas comes up to this point and now it's up to the gas valve we're waiting this to be to open and all right so it started it's opening takes about 20 seconds I believe yeah, we can see from here yeah we can only yeah that that opened the gas pressure goes higher uh, the more gas flows I can hear just by how gas flows and that's how this uh, American standard boiler operates I can't say what year is it because I don't really see any and I don't really see anywhere but it's it's very old it's very neat piece of equipment though it's, it's well designed worked all these years so. all right thanks for watching